All right guys, uh, 2008 Mitsubishi Outlander here. Um, we're just here for a real quick uh, brake job today. It's not going to be anything in depth, but more just uh, to change out the pads. And um, this side in particular, the uh, passenger side, I've got a feeling we might be down the middle. Uh, but we'll find out in a tick. I've already got the car jacked up, ready to go. So I'm just going to take this tyre off and we'll get stuck into it. I've also got the wheel turned to the left so we can get better access to the brake calipers, so let's get this wheel off. Good idea to chuck this wheel underneath the car just as a bit of added insurance. Okay, in order to get to these brake pads, uh, we need to take out one of these two bolts here. Probably this one would be the best one here. Uh, I'm only saying that because we haven't got a lot of room here with this uh, brake line here, so Take this out, and then we should be able to slide this out enough so we can get the brake pads out. Uh, this is a 14 mil bolt. Um, what I probably should do is put some penetrating oil on that before we go ahead and do it. All right, this is probably going to be up pretty tight, so we may need to may need to um, get another spanner or something on it. Yet, yeah. we'll have to see how we go. One wasn't too bad. This is anything like the other side. It's going to be pretty, um, pretty messy. Ages since the brakes have been done on this. As you can see, the grease on that's gone a bit black. So obviously, been a while since this has been done. But we'll freshen all that up with some new. Um, Silicon grease. No, okay, so once that's done, we should be able to just flip this up. If we move it just slightly. Actually, what I might do, I'll try and get you in a better position so you can actually see what you're doing. Won't be long. Alright guys, you should be able to see a bit better now. Um, as I've taken that bolt out, you should be able to just get this up into a position where you can slide it out a little bit and sit it on the the actual rotor. Uh, brake pads, they just slide out. They should slide out. Yeah. Well, wow, okay. This side here is very close to being worn out. Uh, but we still got a bit of meat on there, so that's not too bad. Let's have a look at the other side. Same deal guys, just take it out, it should just clip out, that way you can put your rotor back down, well I was wrong actually, I could have sworn that was on metal on metal, but it doesn't look like we are at the moment, there's something going on here, but that's a good sign, okay, so, now that we've got the, um, the actual pads out, it's probably a good idea to have a bit of a, a look around see if there's any more damage or any other little bits and pieces that might stand out. These rotors are a little bit worn, but they'll do the job for a bit. Inspect your um, brake line too for cracks or anything like that. Any bit suspicious sort of stuff going on there. All looks good. We'll, uh, we're just going to put pads back straight back in this, so um, let's do that right now. Alright, so now we've got everything inspected, all brake pads are out. We're going to just give this a bit of a um, clean up with some brake clean. Uh, just so we've got a nice little clean surface to mount the new brake pads to. So, so what we're up to now is um, we need to get this piston back in. Let's, let me show you real quick. Might the camera work. Uh, we need to get this piston in, uh, pushed back in all the way. So uh, there's a couple of different ways to do this. What I like to do is um, actually just get a G clamp on it as best you can in here, squeeze it. But before you do that, come up into the engine bay and uh, just lift the lid on your your brake reservoir. 
just so there's uh, a bit of room there. You don't have to take it right off, just loosen it off so there's a bit of uh, air and get in there and uh, push all that brake fluid back up through here. So, alright, so we have our reservoir open so the brake fluid can go back up into there, no worries. Um, all we need to do now is get our brake, uh, our G clamp on here onto this caliper and um, start tightening down. Don't over tighten it, just want to take it back so we can get the pads back, back in basically. So, good idea. You don't want to take the rotor straight all the way out. You can just sort of just maneuver it so it sits in a position like that. Tighten it down and try and get it in the center if you can. Be mindful of what you're clamping onto on the back end too. In this case we're good, so just lightly tighten that down. I don't know if you can actually see it there, guys. Um. It's probably about as far as we need to go, so we'll give that a test run, see if we can get those pads in there. Okay, so here are the new pads. Uh, part and half of a number there for you guys that are interested. These are front um, sort of brake pads anyway, if uh, I didn't mention that before. Uh, keep, be mindful too, there are two different so types of pad for this model of car, depending on which one you got. So this is the four cylinder uh, model, so this will be the part number for that. But anyway, let's go. What we're going to do is we're actually going to put uh, copper anti -seas on these uh, runners here so we don't get any um, bindage so don't need a lot let's tap a bit on there on each side that's those in same with the back side these pads are exactly the same too, so you can't get them mixed up. Tiny dab on each one. Okay, pads are installed. Nothing else we need to do there. Now let's try and turn our attention to the um, these actual these slides here. Uh, when I have pulled the, the other ones off, I've noticed that they're in pretty bad nick. Haven't been done for quite a while, so um, let me just grab the other one and show you what we're dealing with. Silicon grease on this is um, it's actually turned black. Another thing that concerns me too is that there's actually uh, silicon paste on the thread too, which is never a good thing. But anyway. What we're looking for here, make sure we get this clean, is any sort of marks that may be able to bind up. We look pretty, actually pretty good here. Uh, so what we're going to do is just clean the threads off as best we can, get some uh, brake clean on that. And uh, once that's clean, we'll apply our uh, silicon paste and uh, we're good to go. All right, okay, so what we need to do is uh, take this uh, rotor off, rotor, caliper, and slide it out of its home, just so we can, um, I've got a piece of wire here I can support it with, it's probably a good idea, but uh, we haven't actually got enough room for that, so I'm just going to hold it. What we need to do is clean this sliding pin. And uh, so we get some new new grease on it. Plenty. Don't need too much. What we can do is actually slide that one back in. Right. Oh, 
All right, so same deal with the bottom pin. I would have cleaned it up. God, this is, um, never used to be like this. I think the heat's gotten to it or something. Either way, still works. Don't get me on the thread, please. All right, so now we're at a stage now where we can, we're actually just going to put this back together, tighten everything down, um, take it for a test run and see how we went. Don't forget to put your reservoir lid on. It's a big no-no if you leave that open. Um, apart from that, you can do these bolts down to spec. In fact, I might leave a link in the description yet to uh, the, uh, the talk specs. So here we go. But anyway, let's get this back together. Just make sure too when you, you're putting this back together, you don't get any binding on these um, rubber boots down the bottom here, so... Okay. Get that tightened down. We're pretty good, I think, now. Another thing I want to tell you before you um, go take this for a test drive, before you actually pull out of the driveway or do anything stupid like that, just actually make sure that you've actually got a brake pedal before you do that. Um, I've never done it myself, but I've heard some, some pretty bad stories where people have gone to, uh, done the brake job and then thought, well, let's go take it for a drive. Either hit the car in front of them or just reversed out and couldn't stop, so... It's a little bit of a hot tip for you there, guys. Um, I think we're done. Um, just put your wheel back together as normal. Make sure everything's um, clear from underneath the car and you're good to go. If you like this video, please subscribe for more content. Um, leave a comment down the bo bottom too of, of what you guys would like me to do. I'd love to hear from you. So. Thanks for watching and uh, stay, stay tuned for another episode of JFix. Take care.